96 years after they fell in battle, the remains of two British soldiers were finally laid to rest today in a ceremony with full military honours. Lieutenant John Harold Pritchard's sword lay on top of his coffin, recently tracked down to a collector in America. He'd insisted on returning to the front line even after being wounded at the Somme. His remains found beside those of Private Christopher Douglas Elphick, who was identified by his signet ring. He left behind a wife and young son, whose own children, until now, had never had a grave to visit. It, it must have been difficult for my grandmother, but she never spoke about it. Um, I know my father came to uh, see his father's name on the Arras War Memorial, um, because there was no, nowhere else to go. The two were among the millions on both sides killed during the Great War. Those who left the trenches never to return. Many are remembered in carefully tended cemeteries across northern France, but some were never identified, while others were never even found. This is the farmer's field where the remains of Lieutenant Pritchard and Private Elphick were recently recovered, left unploughed since the First World War. It's still believed to contain the secrets of dozens of British soldiers. But for the families of these two soldiers, the mystery's now been solved, not least for the 89-year-old named in honour of John Harold Pritchard, at last able to lay a wreath at his uncle's headstone. The fact that it was so personal to, to me, anyway. Very, very moving altogether. And you're glad you've now laid him to rest? Indeed, in his feeling of satisfaction that he's back with the family. Next year marks the 100th anniversary of the start of the Great War. This, a reminder of the enormous sacrifice, but also the hope that they will always be remembered. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Northern France.